Hi right, guys, what's going on? Hopefully got a good video for you today. Um, I am currently sitting here with Josiah from Palmetto State Armory. We just got done doing a little tour of one of their machine shops, facilities, STS. Um, so I wanted to have Josiah on here real quick because Palmetto State Armory has been a supporter of the channel as you guys know. And I wanted to thank you and thank PSA for that. But Tell me real quick kind of what STS does here as far as what they're making and for you guys and, and do it. Absolutely. So STS is a sister company of PSA. It's still it's owned by my brother Jamin, uh, JJE Capital, and is uh, um, is two business partners. So it's still owned by the same guys. Um, but it's a sister company of PSA, and it's Special Tool Solutions. We, we're putting out about 8,000 lower receivers a month. Down here, we, we do a, a lot of the oddball, uh, if you want to call it that, receivers. We do KS-47, uh, the 308, AR-9 receivers. Um, we also do some AR-15 lower receivers as well. And we do the upper receivers for those as well, for all those different variants as well. We're putting out right now, uh, we're averaging about 8,000 a month on lower receivers combined on all those, and uh, 8,000 upper receivers as well. Uh, we do many different things such as gas blocks, um, different other small small parts, hand guards. That's another large thing that we do is hand guards. And so and as far as uh, raw aluminum and raw steel, that's a question that came up through this this tour was how many millions of dollars are you guys consuming through just this one facility? And the answer is about it's about a, a one to five one to five million dollars a month consuming of uh, steel and aluminum. Uh, it just varies per month. And sometimes it goes above five million, sometimes it goes below, it just varies uh, depending on the man. Yeah, this is, I said, you know, like for the, the nine millimeter and, and KS-47 ARs, which you guys obviously know I'm a big fan of the KS-47s, this is where the lowers were, were made at. I actually got to see that. I'll try to roll in some stuff for y'all to take a look at. But didn't want to drag it out, guys. Just wanted to let y'all kind of get an idea of what place was what they have going on there's a lot more to palmetto state army than what you just see on the website the, the, the website is just a very small picture of what all they they've got going on and what they're doing so appreciate the opportunity to come check the place out with you and the time appreciate your calendar thanks guys we'll see y'all later all right so is everybody it's around Three to four thousand of these a week. Yeah, they are. All right, so we're gonna get to look at a gas block being made here. Would you like the machine to actually function? Oh uh, yeah, right. that'll be awesome. You're not gonna be able to see too much with the coolant going because the coolant tends yeah. to hit the window and blocks out a little bit of it. Right. From, can we see anything from the other side? Or? No, this is the only window. Oh, that's the only window? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that happens is the bar feeder pushes out the bar stock. Okay, how close can we get? Yeah, right up to this. Okay. Oh, yeah, how much is Faces off both ends. Okay, you need wipers in here, man. <laughs> yeah, I told you. You're not going to be able to see too much. Yeah. Most of the time, the videos that you see of CNC machining, they make, uh, you know, they're doing like out of aluminum bronze or something that doesn't really need a lot of coolant yeah. to, uh, okay. to show it. How many blocks? It's pretty about 40. About 40 blocks? Okay, what kind of steel is this? This is 4140. 4140? Okay, so basically there's some kind of machine that just goes through it, makes it look yep. like that, right? Awesome. Do you guys have that machine here or that's... No, this is the from an outside source. Oh, okay. And I ordered the stock in like this. Oh, okay, cool. So it goes... We're multiple different sizes right now, fives. 7 and a half, 13 and a half, 15s. Okay. And they start off in a long extrusion that we get, and we chop them up to 
certain lengths depending on what length uh, handguard we're making. Oh, okay. And that extrude extrusion that you get for this one's hollow, like yeah. this. Yeah. So okay. They all so have bores through the center of them, mm -hmm. and then we'll bore on each end. Oh, okay. Uh, one for the barrel on that side. Okay. So the part, the raw stock, is placed inside the machine. It's the headstock with a, a timed profile collet. Then the machine runs through, builds all the features, turns all the features on it. Take it, flip it around, and you do everything on the other side. And after the part comes off the machine, there's a inspection that is done on the part. And then on each part, every ten parts. Okay, so every ten parts is set here. Okay, so here, uh, like gauges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then from there, it becomes something like what we see here on the screen. So that becomes the... Up to the two rocks in front of it. Up to the front of it, the top. Up to the front of it, the rotary top. And then up to 300, it goes over to the mills and gets put in between two centers and gets all the outside profile and does to it, pick as many as cut and everything. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Get in there. So this side is doing the threaditive. There's another side coming out of the main spindle that also does the flat. This is after the operation, right? Okay. From our stuff. Oh, okay. Is it like from that? This, these are remnants, so we'll do a remnant run after oh, afterwards because okay. it takes okay. a different program to run the whole bar stock and the remnant stock. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. So we'll go through and run all work. I'm going to do my best to get it out of here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Very nice. It just doesn't come off. You have to watch it. <laughs> you rub it on your clothes and you smell like it. No, I... Oh, okay. This is how they bounce it out. The light goes from there. It's the mirror there. The bigger there. Cool. We use that thing. So these are already... Very nice. Hands above the table, Hank. Don't want you running off with one of those receivers. <laughs> Hank, you distracting. <laughs> That's cool. Here's a yeah. one for you. We'll grab you some cup. Oh, there you go. Cool beans. That's what I get to do. <laughs> nice. You get to put them together? Yes, sir. All right. They have mounts, that's cool. Good, they're running nice. nice. The Deer Hunter 15s we had in Creek originally, we were like, ah, oh, this is remotely popular. What, 500 on the website, pulled out within like, six and a half minutes. Yeah. So we're like, all right, then I called up and like, uh, please, you put that up.